had such an idyllic life. It was like we were living in a snow globe. And that Saturday morning, somebody picked up our snow globe and shook it. Dave really was that quintessential officer. He loved to fly. With every fiber of his body, he was an aviator. Wyatt, I said, what makes you want to go into the Army? He said, look at all of our family. We are so blessed. He always wanted to serve. He wanted to be on the front lines. He wanted to be in battle. He could have gone and done anything. But he always said, I'm going to go fight for a country. This is what I want to do. Ian was an instructor test pilot training aviators how to fly the Super Cobra. Josh he was a military police officer. He was determined to serve his country and protect. In the Marine Corps, they refer to each other as brothers. Sirius is Josh's canine brother. He's been trained to sniff out bombs, and they were the top team out of 30 handlers. They were the number one team. To Josh, this was the greatest thing ever. On his last mission, he was the lead, going into a very hot compound. A combat engineer, they do a lot of route clearance. They are the ones that find the IDs, and then they blow them up. They were clearing a route. Wyatt was in the last vehicle. Normally, they would check a culvert. They didn't know this culvert was there, I guess. And there was, a, I guess they called a command wire. Someone was at the other end with a button, and then it was an 800-pound bomb. And so Wyatt was outside the vehicle, and it flipped the vehicle over. Dave had been having some pain down his leg. Pilots sit in cockpit seats for long hours, and he thought it was just kind of some sciatic nerve. I was standing at the sink doing some dishes, and all of a sudden, Dave grabbed his chest, and I watched what looked like a wave roll up his body. And he collapsed onto me, and I lowered him to the ground the best I could, and he had a grand mal seizure. He had about seven hours of brain surgery. The neurosurgeon came out and I said, is it what you think it is? And he said, do you really want to know? And I said, yes. And he said, it's glioblastoma. If I were you, I'd retire and go start making memories. On the way to the compound, they came across a creek. Before they jumped over, Josh had Sirius go clear. There was nothing there. And so Josh got him over and went to jump over to be with him. And um, he was killed by an ID. The plate was there on the side, and the bomb was underneath the water. The dogs are not really trained to smell under the water. So, um, yeah, Josh saved a lot of lives that night, but lost his own and saved Sirius's life. Doctors were very clear he would not survive. The final day was the hardest. Ian had wanted to naturally pass. I went into the room and I said, hey babe, are you tired? And he said, yeah. I said, do you want to go home? And I don't mean our house, I mean, are you ready? And he said, are you going to be okay? And in my head, I was screaming, no. And I said, yes, I got this. And the boys will be fine, too. And he said, yeah, I'm tired. When it actually happens, you can't imagine it. And I couldn't tell anybody because it felt like nobody understood. When he passed, we'd been married 19 years. My husband wasn't killed in action. I didn't get the knock on the door, but it's a military loss. People die. Love does not. I'm the woman that's the widow. 
and people aren't sure what really to do with me, we're so sorry for your loss and you don't even know if you're supposed to say thank you. TAPS is the one place where you can walk into the room and not have to explain yourself. I found TAPS and they immediately sent us our care packages and we went to a seminar. TAPS has played such an integral role in our healing. The Girls with Good Grief Camp, Teams for TAPS and Stars for TAPS. When I have questions about benefits or educational services, I can pick up the phone. They've been wonderful. I can't even tell you how much TAPS has done for our family. You can have so much pain and like, it's not gonna go away, clearly not gonna go away, but there's something about not feeling alone. I just want to be happy. What are you looking at, Wyatt? And TAPS gives you a reason to be happy. They're helping me make sure my son is never forgotten. TAPS just lets you say, celebrate, just celebrate. Everything they do is for the family and for love. Love lives on. That's what I want every family to know, that we redefine our relationship with those we love, that they may be physically gone, but they are very much a presence in our lives, that they will continue to guide us and inspire us. That's what TAPS is, and that's what we can do. That is the gift that we can give, and it is love.